What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Starfield. So yeah, I took a nap, um, because yeah, I was recording Your <laughs> all that. Oh. You. Here. Oh it really? Foolish to carry so many items on your own. Uh, that is true. I would like to find a shop at some point, but apparently I have a note from my dad. <laughs> um, oh, I'm overcumbered, that's why he said that. Well, almost. Well, I, I am actually. What? Just from the notes right now, or? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, how do we... Here we go. A uh, notes from Dad. Dear Fence here, if you could stop by home, there's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, nothing urgent, but I would sure would like to see you. Well, I don't even know where my parents are. Yeah, I'm not even sure. I guess that's a quest that we can just follow, but... Yeah, we also have this here. Um, yeah, let's go do this here. I just want to move on with the main quest. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone. Oh, this is the cowboy. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. Hello. I see. Uh -huh. You must be the latest <laughs> poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Um. Oh, this is Samco. I see. Well, um... Yeah, speaking of family, you two rated, related? No. Funny story, I caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Hmm. Dad! <laughs> Alright. That's my one. Um, I'm trying to keep things professional, if that's what you, what you mean. Well, you might think differently come year three or four. All professional arguments are really personal arguments, if you know what I mean. Like how you're always jealous that Vladimir's stronger than you are? Hey, it's not that. I just don't like losing a bet. Besides, when a man lifts you over his head, you make peace with certain things. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hello. Um... Yeah, aren't you a little young to be a space explorer? <laughs> There's no, you have to be this tall sign for space. The package may be small, but she can handle herself. You'll see. Well, yeah, I mean, glad to see someone. Well, I, actually, I'll just be um, straightforward. Good to meet you, Cora. <laughs> nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Um... Not much. Anything that gets me out of there works for me. I feel the same. Man, I always get antsy planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontiers are vol. It's rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah. I mean, anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Are you about to go to a cowboy planet? Like him? <laughs> That'll be awesome. I'm ready. Let's get to it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. Oh. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Okay. Yeah, before we go, we gotta find ourselves a shop. Um, yeah, somewhere. <laughs> I'll definitely, maybe I should, can I look at the map right now? Is there like a local map? Um, do I just show resources? Water? <laughs> oh, I see, it converts the map. That's cool. It shows like different resources. I'm not sure, I'm guessing that's for base building stuff. But yeah, I would like to go in and sell things. If it's possible. Um... Ooh. You think you'll be in the main area? Gosh darn it. 
Oh man, you know what? Maybe we'll find, maybe we'll find it in the um, the cowboy planet, like a vendor. Um, missions. Hopefully, I can fast travel, even though I'm kind of overcumbered. Um, main. So yeah, these are our main quests. But like, I forgot. Wasn't there um, and this one here too. Return to Vectera. I don't know why this one got highlighted first, even though I know I remember that she wants me to um. Yeah, she wants me to do this first. Well, I think we'll do this first. You know, return to Vectera. Um. Let's see. Let's go and set the course. Yeah, hopefully you don't mind that we uh, go there. Um, is that course? Oh, because I'm carrying too much. Yeah, I guess we really got to... <laughs> oh, we got to sell our stuff. I want to make credits. I don't want to drop them. I want to I wanna sell them. So yeah, while I go ahead and look around for a shop, um, I do want to say that... Yeah, as um, I did go to sleep and, st uh, and stuff, <laughs> I was courting in the middle of the night. Um, for a few hours on the early access day and now it is in the middle of daylight and yeah I did go ahead and update my driver to see if that does anything but it's the one from August 22nd which um, I'm not sure if that will fix it I mean that's before the launch of this game <laughs> so I'm not sure if there's gonna be another one that will that'll be after this game I mean yeah there will be but I'm just I'm just not sure when <laughs> Oh man, but you definitely, you know, just from that conversation with Sam, you know, the opening dialogue was kind of glitched out, you know, they're moving their lips before they even speak, <laughs> and instead they speak with their mind. But yeah, you know, I did some more research on like, you know, if people also had some problems, but it seems like only a few had PC performance, but you know, it's probably because, you know, they don't do what I do. <laughs> but like I said, I would like to play this game, um, you know, like, not any recording at some point but for me I like to record my first experiences and all that and yeah this is my first experience <laughs> oh man oh, look it's about to be daytime hey guard can I talk to you okay the well's been having brown out all oh, just one quiet day Too oh. much to ask for. I mean I guess I can't I can't do that um well okay my oxygen um you think we're supposed to go up here is that the way towards that train station that we tried to go to earlier I think so I don't know let's let's try to go over here see if this does lead us anywhere cuz I don't mean I mean I don't remember going here oh I see oh well wow, that's interesting okay so I see it with the um the CO2. So yeah, we um <laughs> we start to gain it if you run out of oxygen. Oh. But yeah, it doesn't like slow you down like in the previous games, like when you run out run out of stamina. Wait, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um Oh man, this is a pretty long walk. Like <laughs> walkway. And yeah, there's like a whole other area around here. And yeah, it's gonna start draining me. You know what? Vasco. Yeah, let's trade you some gear. I wanna give you some stuff. Carrying so what is... objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Yeah, you're sworn to carry my burdens. <laughs> uh, whoa, what is this? That's him. Uh, what about me? I want to give you my stuff. Um, how do we see the weight? Oh, there's the mass. Okay. I want to give you my heavy stuff, which I guess is going to be the coachman. The oh, uh, cutter maybe. And I'll keep that just in case we need it. It looks like a tool. So. 
Oh, we had two maelstroms? <laughs> what? Um, I'll get rid of you. Wait, that should be good enough. Okay. Farewell. Now I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I can just sprint wherever I want. Oh yeah, where do you find like a marketplace around here? I wish I wish I could just ask around for directions, like from these guards. Like, hey, can you point me to the nearest? Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for an EP. Or maybe can I do this? Residential district? Old woman. The lodge. Security there. Oh, the commercial district, that's probably it, right? It's all the way on, on the other side. <laughs> but here we are just exploring New Atlantis. Just gonna put this away. But man, I mean, definitely the structure is like so much better. I mean, I guess it makes sense, you know, like in a place like this, <laughs> it is gonna look nice. Because yeah, in Fallout, in, in Skyrim, they're more of like on the rough side of things because they're, you know, either fantasy or medieval or, um, or the world got blown up. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, you know, this game does have those type of things, too, with, um, you know, like the other planets. But, yeah, New Atlantis here, you know, definitely, it's like, it's like if, um, in Fallout 4, it's like if the Institute was bigger. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'll put it that way, if the Institute was, was way bigger. Um, anyways... Yeah, here's the commercial district. What is down there? The frontier? But you can go there from here? Like, it's on the map? So it's not like... Like this area is like a zone. I mean, I guess not. Oh, here's the terrain. I thought it was at... over there. Uh, well, here we are. Uh, where's the shops around here? Oh, here we go. Yeah, music is, like, cutting off and stuff. Um, hello? Oh, come on. Can I ask, uh, what this place is and what they sell? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, is this not like a normal shop? It sounds like a, some kind of business building. Oh, here we go. There's someone selling some food here. As you can see, traffic is good. The sales keep. Vasco, get over here. I want to trade with you. Vasco. Oh, there's a kiosk. You use this instead. Oh, that's so cool. Vasco. Frick, I want to get his stuff. Hey. Captain. Yeah, um, let's trade gear. So yeah, pretty much, you know, the first 10 minutes here, we're just, <laughs> we're just exploring <laughs> this place. There we go. Okay, goodbye. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to pause. But yeah, let's go ahead and... I don't know, I'm guessing this will trigger something. Ooh, fancy. What? Oh, it's just an actual... You have to buy. Can I sell? What can I get you? No, what? I want to, um... Hi there. Welcome to Terror Brew. How can I help you? Place an order? Can I sell stuff to you? Does it, like... I want... Not work the same way you think? I don't know. Certainly. Please take your time. Like, can I only buy and not sell? Oh, here we go. I want to sell. Okay, he has a... Oh no, I can only sell... All this stuff. All of them are pretty, pretty light though. Can you tell me where's the nearest, like, weapon area? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, this is a very... Nice looking city. Valberg. Oh, you got like whetstone? What is this? Oh, 
Oh, is this a restaurant? <laughs> probably gonna, I'll probably only be able to sell food. Uh, Valberg. Um, I don't know what this place is. There's the news network. Another day, another shift. Okay, uh, cool. Cool story. Dang. I mean, I guess it makes sense they don't have weapons here, you know? It's not like... <laughs> this place a bit is a bit more civilized. Like, it's not really much of a thing where you need weapons around. Oh man, that sucks. I mean, yeah, maybe if I, if I paid attention to some conversations. Wait, I'm definitely getting lost around here. I kind of wish I can just ask the guard. On, what, on like where to go. To sell my weapons at. Maybe it's in here. Um, let's go here. Let's go to the, uh, I guess the spaceport. You think they'll have any weapons here? But yeah, apparently, like, they, we, we can just walk over there. Like I saw on the map, it's just like 400 meters away. <laughs> oh yeah, that's interesting. Alright. Um, but yeah, let's go in. Try to sell some of our goodies and all that. Okay, here we are. We're back here. Yeah, even though the performance is still not better, I think it's way better than what we experienced like in the beginning of the game, <laughs> you know, with the our first battle with the pirates. Oh, you think this is it? Jemison Merchantile? Here we go. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Uh what about weapons? Hi there. Hi. <laughs> All these freezes. Okay. Yes. Hello, game. Come on. You got this. Oh no. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Uh, I'd like to see what you have for sale. Oh, please take a look. Dude, facial animation is so much better. Let's go and sell. Um, here we go. Yes, yeah, so we can sell stuff here. Okay, I want to sell, like, maybe... Yeah, this Eon, our first one. Is Equinox, the Coachman. Um, should I sell this? Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to use... I'll keep, like, the... The purple and... And the golds here. Maybe the others I can just throw away. Unless I don't have, like, a weapon in their category. Um, two of these. I don't remember remember getting two. So that. Oh yeah, there's a side star. What does that use? Point twenty seven caliber. And you yeah, none of these use that. I think so. Um. Oh yeah, we got we got a modified version, so we can sell that too. The Orion. The epic laser. Well, we'll keep that just in case. <laughs> oh yeah, which one do we sell? Should we sell this? Or keep this? That's 16 damage. Ooh. Um, I think I'll keep that combat knife. I'll, I'll sell that. Why not? Okay, we also got some spacesuits. Yeah, we'll sell that. I want to keep my... Constellation stuff. Okay. Then yeah, I guess I can sell everything else. I want to roleplay as Constellation. <laughs> Since I'm a part of them now. Well, okay. I think that's... That's really it. Wow, we still have like 95 on us. Okay. Well. Bye-bye. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Yep, no problem. Jeez, so bright. But yeah, let's keep exploring around. I guess, you know, it's we're already at like around 20 minutes now. <laughs> I think it's probably best that we get to know the place. Oh, come on, game. 
Oh, this is probably a, a bar. Okay. Citizen, are you a waitress? I don't know. <laughs> I thought she was about to go back in because she's, she's like an employee or something. Ooh. That's a very pretty game. So were we just up there? Because yeah, I'm guessing that's like... Where we, where we were at, like 400, 400 meters, so we could have like dropped down here if you want. Can we go in every building? Oh, that's a security office. I, think I, got them. I mean, I'm guessing we can go into every building, you know, like that's what Bethesda does. <laughs> they don't really leave any, you know, unaccessible areas, I think. I think everything is kind of open, pretty much. Well, no, actually, no, not everything is open. Every I'm guessing that's another side quest. What's over here? Just another? Hey! Oh. Hey, hey, you! You have a minute? Um, not really. I mean, I guess I have a minute right now since the game keeps on lagging out. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Realistically, no. I need to talk to you. Why? You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Oh, you know uh, me. You flew in on the uh, frontier. Um, it depends on who's asking and why. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack. It's true, right? You saw some real action. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm really busy. <laughs> I mean, me and the Crimson Fleet attacked us. If that's what you mean by action. This is great. Great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. I mean, yeah, who is Nadia Mufaz? Everyone knows David Barron, the face and voice of SSNN, if you will. But Nadia is in charge of all the research. All the best stories were written by her. She's uh, really something. I mean... I'm not sure if I should be talking about this, but I could use the money. <laughs> I like money. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Well, Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. Yeah, he, he just wants to make his way into the world. I mean, yeah, I don't blame him. You know, he's... You're definitely giving off like that. That desperate feeling, but, you know, he just wants to make it up there. Um, no yes, no bounty. Okay, so I guess if they, if we ever, like, walk past him, they'll always scan us, you think? Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and, um, mark that on the map. Um, yeah, we can do this little side quest. I think it's fine. Um, okay. Um, Showing the map. B. Set course. <laughs> Where do we go? Okay, let me get out of here first. Okay. I mean, yeah, we'll do a little interview. If it involves me, like, doing some other crazy thing. Then, yeah, I'll... Oh. There we go. Hey, you don't need to talk to me. I just already left. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll talk to her if it's just like a normal interview. If we're not gonna be sent to somewhere dangerous, then I think we're fine. But yeah, let's get at least one side quest done. You think by doing this interview, like my presence will be known out there, and then uh, the adoring fan will come in and think that we're so cool from that news <laughs> that he heard. <laughs> Once it gets reported. By Terra, by Terra, by Terra. Dude, I can't wait to see him. Like, when do we get to meet him? I don't even by know where. Terra, by oh. Terra, oh my gosh! By Terra. I can't believe it. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. I was just talking about you. <laughs> Dude. Finally, we have the adoring fan. I don't know how you got here. Is it or you? Is it really, really you? And yeah, I believe it's the same voice actor. 
bane of Back the in deep. oblivion. Constellations shine, star of stars. <laughs> I mean, um, bane of the fleet. Oh, don't be so modest. It was all over SSNN. Oh, we, we haven't even gotten Lone there. Miner tames the Crimson Fleet, saves a member of Constellation, and steals the hearts of millions. No, trillions! Yeah. And now you're standing here next to me. Oh, really is you, right? I mean, I know Shining Storm, just a member. Oh, you are definitely the brightest, biggest star in any constellation. There's no maybes about it. I have an eye for these things. Not that you're hard to see with that halo on your head. Although at first, I wasn't sure if it was just the glare. <laughs> but now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. <laughs> but... I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. It was. I chose you in my traits. <laughs> Ooh. I can just choose an introvert thing. <laughs> you change a routine. Oh, yes. Normally, I start my day by drinking four cups of coffee and stuffing Jeez. my face with chunks. Four cups. But after being I'm, I'm good with one. <laughs> by your story, I thought to myself... What would the great and powerful hero of Vectera do? And so instead, I went for a jog. I ran and I ran and I ran, picturing you in the distance, like a North Star. Imagine <laughs> my surprise to find you were actually real by the light of Polaris. It must be fate. I mean, I guess that's good, you know? I just inspired him to, like, you know... Not take coffee instead, just go for a jog. But yeah, I'll choose this. You make it sound like I'm famous. I'd rather fade away into the background. Fade? Never. A star like yours will never lose its luster. It burns like a supernova, only brighter and covered by insurance. Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I... Oh boy. <laughs> Do you need a sidekick? Let's go. What am I saying? You're a hero, of course. <laughs> oh, the, you do. the thumbs up. Dude, Lead the, the, way. the animation is so much better. Assigning the adoring fan to your crew will make him essential until unassigned. I mean, if you're going to be my sidekick, don't you need a costume? Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then. Maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice uh, groveling at your feet? <laughs> if not, I can start one. I mean, welcome aboard, I guess. You won't be disappointed. Okay. Go to the frontier. Um, confirm. But yeah, isn't it full or no? I guess it's not full. I thought it was only two, up to two people in the ship, right? In the fronts here. But I guess not. Can I choose him? I mean, I would like to switch companions. Um, if Asko, you can go away. Good day, Captain. You can return to your post. Come on, hurry up. I don't know if he's going to leave. Should you require my Yeah. Hey. I saw a smudge of dirt on your ship the other day. What? You, you never went to it, though. <laughs> I obliterated it with every cleaning product known to man. No speck of soil is getting near you. Not if I can help it. Yeah, I'd like to, you to um, follow me for a while. Yes! How close should I follow you? <laughs> Two meters behind? <laughs> one meter? Less than one meter? Jeez. Just, I just follow want me. To make sure you've got enough space. Emotional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, try to keep your distance, please. Okay. You won't even know I'm here. I like a thumbs up. The adoring fan is now following you. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. 
Um, anyways, yeah, I think I, we might just end it there on a high note. I think we'll do this interview in the next video, and then we'll head to, back to Vectera, which, yeah, this guy, I mean, yeah, he can see all the action and stuff. Oh, dude, we got the adoring fan. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. But yeah, it's funny, you know, we were just talking about him, and I guess he kind of heard us. Yeah, still don't know how he just... just found us there. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah guys, I think we'll end it here next time. We'll do this little interview. Um, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. You wish you lived on a spaceship. But yeah, that's also another thing too. I don't know, it's weird. Like, I think the first kid that I saw, I thought it was just like, you know, a short adult. But no, that's just the height of the kids. Because yeah, the, the kids look kind of taller than before. Or at least, they're kind of comparable with the adults here. I don't know if it's the adults that shrunk. Or if the kids, they just got taller. Because, yeah, I feel like, you know, that's something noticeable back in the older Bethesda games. But, yeah, I don't know. That's just something that I kind of notice. Anyway, guys, yeah. Um, that'll be it for now. That's game.